Hey there, let's solve a coding question from Meta. We are going to solve it in Python using the pandas library. Let's get started. Our data for this coding question involves uh, some products that are sold on different dates and our goal would be to find the most lucrative product or the product that has brought us or brought the company the highest amount of profits. Now we need to only consider the products in a certain date range. Like in this question, it's going to be the first half of 2020. And we need to only output at the end the product ID and the total profit or revenue. So this is part of our data set. We can see that all of the dates that we have here fit into the range that we are looking for. That's the first half of 2020. Now the revenue from each of these transactions would be equal to the units of that product sold times the cost of that product in dollars or in any other currency. So we can see that we have three times product ID one and therefore the total revenue would be equal to um, 41 dollars for this product. In the same way, we can compute the revenues for products two and three. And if our data set was only limited to this image, then we could have already said that uh, considering just these three products, product one would be the most lucrative, closely followed by product three, and at the end would be the product number two. Now let's do that with our data set. I'm going to solve this question using two approaches. They are basically the same. We're just going to use different commands. Now I'm going to begin by uh, setting this equal to DF so that I don't need to write online orders every time. Then the first thing that I want to do is to compute the total revenue. This would be equal to cost in dollars times the unit sold. So let's quickly look at our data frame. We have this new column. It's equal to the two times four will be eight, six times six will be 36 and so on. Now I also want to extract the month from the date because I want to limit my results on all of the months between January and June, because all of these dates are in 2022. I just need to care about the month. So I'm going to do that using et.month. And I'm going to already limit my data frame. Let's go one line low. I'm going to limit my data frame to all of the months which are less than or equal to six. And I'm going to store it again in DF. Great. Now I just need to group the results based on the product ID. So I'm going to say group by product ID. And I want the total revenue, the sum of total revenue for each of the product IDs. So this is, we have already done most of what we need to do. I'm going to only use reset index so that we can see the product IDs also. As you can see here, we have, for example, for product ID, a total of $65 sold in all these uh, six months. Now I need to output the top five, the top most lucrative products. So I'm going to first sort the values based on the total revenue. And because I need it to be in descending format, I'm going to set ascending to false. So now we see all of our um, products grouped by product ID and ordered in the descending order. I only need to return the top five and it's going to be products two, three, five, one, and six. Let's check it and it's correct. So that would be one way to solve it. Now, the second approach is almost identical. I'm just going to use different commands for it. So let's begin from the top. 
I'm going to first limit my data by querying it. So if you're familiar with uh, SQL, it should be very easy. I want to query it by limiting the date to lie between the end of June and uh, from the 1st of January. So this is 2022, also 2022. And the date should lie between these two uh, times. Now we have done that. Instead of creating the new column with the syntax that we did in the previous example, I can use it. I can do that using the assign function. And I'm going to create a new column. Let's call it revenue again. And to do that, I will use a, use an anonymous function. Let's call it parameter x. That means that by each row, I'm going to uh, compute the revenue by multiplying the cost in dollars by the units sold. And we can have a look at that. We already have this column revenue it is going to be two times four, six times six and so on. And now the rest would be exactly the same. We just need to group the results again by product ID. Let's do that. So I'm going to say group by by the product ID. And instead of using the reset index, like in the first solution, I'm going to just say that I don't want the um, this product ID to be used as index. So when you group a data frame by a certain column, pandas uh, automatically sets it as index. And I, with, by passing this argument, I would say that I want it. I don't want it to be used as the index. So now again, I will want to find the sum of revenues for each of these products. We get to the same results. And instead of sorting it and then picking out the top five, I can just simply use this function from, from pandas. It's called n largest. And I say that I want the five largest values or five the rows with five largest values in the revenue column. And it's going to again give me the same result. Let's check it again. And that's correct. Perfect. So we have successfully solved this uh, coding question using two very similar ap approaches, just using different names of functions. Perfect. I will post both of these solutions on my website and share the link to that post in the captions of this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next tutorial.